So we're going to find missing sides using the idea of similarity, of similar shapes. Let's just remind ourselves of the definition of similar shapes. So if one shape is an enlargement of another, we can say the shapes are similar. And with similar shapes, the lengths of the smaller shape are multiplied by the same number to get the larger shape, but the angles remain the same. So we've got a more complicated diagram here and what we need to do is, is extract the similar shapes. I really recommend that you draw the similar shapes out. So the first one I'm going to draw is the larger triangle here and I'm just going to do a quick sketch of it, it doesn't have to be too accurate. And I'm going to transfer all the letters over. So that's vertex A, vertex D, vertex E. This whole length is 8 plus 4, so this must be 12. And then I'm looking for D to E. So I'm going to put an X here. And I'm going to transfer that X here. It doesn't have to be an accurate sketch. So the next shape that I'm going to draw is this one, which is similar to this one. So it's this triangle, this smaller triangle that you might be able to see at the top. I'm going to redraw that here. Just a quick sketch will do. So this is four centimeters, this is three centimeters. I'm going to transfer the letters over, A, B and C. These shapes are similar because the angles are the same. So this angle at the top, because the two triangles have come from that angle, they must be the same. We're also going to use the idea of corresponding angles. Because we've got some parallel lines there, we actually have an F angle here meaning that this angle and this angle are the same. So this angle is here, that must be the same as that one. And we've got the same on the other side. So this angle and this angle are corresponding angles. So this is this angle over here, and this is this angle over here. So I've just proved that the angles are all the same. So now let's find the missing length x. So because these shapes are similar, one is an enlargement of the other, so I can find the scale factor. So I'm going to find some corresponding lengths. This length here is corresponding to that length, so the scale factor is going to be 12 divided by 4, which is 3. So this means times by 3 to get to that length. So I need to times this length by 3 to get to that length, so x is equal to 9 centimetres. So have a go at the next one. You might want to pause the video and I really recommend redrawing those shapes and extracting those similar shapes. Hopefully you've had a go at doing that. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw my similar shapes. So like I said, they don't need to be accurate. So for this smaller shape here, it's PQR, it's 12 centimetres and this is 10 centimetres. And 
have only got 15 centimeters as a full length there. So these two shapes are similar. You don't need to prove that the angles are the same every time like I did for the first example. I just wanted to show you that the angles were the same. So we're just going to work out the missing lengths. So what do I need to find? So I need to find P to S first. So I'm going to find P to S first. So this is the length I need to find first to find Q to S. So eventually I'm going to have to find Q to S here. So let's find P to S first. Now because these shapes are similar we're going to find the scale factor. So the scale factor can be found by using lengths on corresponding lengths. So I'm going to use the 15 and the 10, they're corresponding. So 15 divided by 10. So I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 5. So that's 3 over 2, so the scale factor is 1.5. So to get from 10 to 15 are times by 1.5. So that means I can find length x by doing 12 times 1.5. So to find length x it's going to be 12 times 1.5 and to times by 1.5 I'm going to split up 1.5 into 1 and 0 0.5. 12 times 1 is 12. Half of 12 is 6. Add those together, it's 18 centimetres. So x is 18 centimetres. So this whole length is 18 centimetres. And now all I need to find is q to s now. So I found p to s, I need to find q to s. So the whole thing is 18 centimetres. And then this is 12 centimetres, so to find Q to S, it's going to be 18 minus 12, which is 6 centimetres. So P to S was 18, Q to S is 6 centimetres.